Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to Mastering Accounting Skills YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important feature of Microsoft Excel that is pivot tables. I will explain you how to create pivot tables and how to summarize large amount of data into small shapes with the help of pivot tables. This in front of me one sheet is open. It is the sales report of an organization, Aldoha Drugstore. Okay, we have here customer, salesman, amount, invoice number, date, everything we have here. Okay, so now I will tell you how we can create pivot table for this sheet. You have to come here in insert tab. There is pivot table option available. Okay, click on it. When you click select a table or range table range it means that you need to explain pivot table that what is the data you want to input in your pivot table okay so you have you have to select all of this all of your data we have selected this sheet has total 2799 invoices okay here some invoices for some customers repeating means uh, repeating means uh, there are uh, multiple invoices for one customer okay like alwaha pharmacy you can see here two invoices available maybe up more invoices for this customer so pivot table will sum will summarize for us everything for this okay also there is another option it is asking me that you want to create pivot table in new worksheet or in existing worksheet if I will tell him existing worksheet it will ask me what is the location you want your pivot table to be there okay so I will click here and I will give this cell that I want my pivot table here so if I click OK it will make pivot table here okay but just to make myself clear in this screen small screen I will do it again in another sheet so I can explain you clearly so again we will do this insert pivot table okay not in existing sheet in new worksheet okay so what Excel did it created a new sheet here sheet 2 so here I have this pivot table and all the columns for my data available here serial number voucher number date invoice number customer and down what we can do these are the four functions we can apply to our pivot tables filters columns rows and the values now one by one we will see every uh, thing in this pivot table okay so first I will bring my customers in the rows and the amount here so what it did customer wise it summarized the sales report in sheet 1 my sales report consists of 2799 invoices but in my pivot table it summarized all 2799 invoices into how many 218 uh, records only okay so what is the difference here here you can see in this list list some customers name repeating okay like just to check we will make this sheet filter okay I want to see Abdullah Pharmacy Ajman so how many invoices this customer has 12 invoices with total amount 15,888 and in the pivot table if we see this Abdullah Pharmacy Ajman 15,888 okay so it total the sales for this customer available in that sheet okay so very quickly we get this results now if I want 
this is for all sales team okay if I want to see my sales wrap wise so I will just bring my salesman up this above this customer name okay so what it did it makes my pivot uh, my data salesman wise okay here the salesman name available after that all of the customers belongs to this salesman and their particular sales and this is 5887 for Ahmad this Anas this is all of his customers and this is the total sale for Anas okay now if we want we can also make filter on the salesman so now I will bring my salesman instead of rows I will bring it to the filters okay now what I can do here I have filter option if I will select Anas it will give me only Anas sales all customers only belong to Anas if I need to see multiple salesmen so I will select direct and Anas and Ahmad okay so it will give me only for this selected salesman's sales okay also another thing we can use this column also okay first we will make all our data available here we we'll select all the customers salesman then another thing we can do we will bring our salesman to the columns now what it did customer name salesman name in the columns now coming Anas Ahmad direct Ehtisham Fayyaz Rami Safwan and this is the total for each customer then we can do one more thing I will remove this salesman from here I want to see my sales for each customer with the invoice detail now what it did it makes for me ABC pharmacy this is the in two invoices we generate for them and this is the amount of each invoice and this is the total for this customer okay Abdullah pharmacy invoice number and amount particular amount and this is the total for Abdullah pharmacy we can bring our date here also now date invoice number amount we do not want invoice number here okay so if we do not want invoice number remove the invoice number now customer name date and the sales if I will in my main data I am going to change anything now Abdullah pharmacy sales is 15,888 okay I will change one invoice amount it is one fifth 14,000 suppose now we will go to our pivot table and we will check what is happening there for Abdullah pharmacy still it is showing 15,888 so what we have to do we need to refresh this pivot table okay right click and make it refresh now you see the amount for Abdullah pharmacy changed 29,300 one invoice 14,000 is there okay like this you can refresh your pivot table also now this pivot table if you uh, here all the fields list is available here if you do not want to see this list okay you can hide hide this only you will see this data if you want to see it again this option go and show field list okay also there are different designs available for the pivot tables you can apply here 
okay like this you can change change this designing also also one thing more if suppose you lost this sheet okay this main sheet for the sales if you lost okay i will delete all this data but i have the pivot table now how i can recover my data so i will come here in the total of the report my report okay then right click show the details so see what excel did for me it brings all the data here same data what i lost before i can get it back with the help of my pivot table one thing more when you are going to create a pivot table and you have one blank column here like one column i will insert here it has no data even no title for this I will create one pivot table here just to explain you again okay from here till end now I have selected here one column which is blank okay this column may be here so if I will try to create my pivot table it will not allow me to create the pivot table so you have to make sure when you are going to create pivot table that there should not be any blank column or any blank row in the range what you have selected to create the pivot table okay this you can also play with this data like uh, you can sort this data okay sort largest to smallest okay you can format your amounts and currency also if you want to see for each customer how how many number of invoices so this is the calculated field here you can do different functions come to the value field settings you have the option here sum count count it will bring to you the number of invoices okay for each customer how many invoices we have in our main data here okay so this customer has 15 invoices this has 14 invoices okay like this you can make it also what we else we can do we can take the average okay average how much this each customer is taking from us we can check for the other options okay all minimum maximum product okay everything you can do here you can rename your call row labels okay this you can write here customers name okay and like this you can play with this data so what uh, if anything else you can ask me in the comment box main things i have explained to you this is very useful feature of microsoft excel i hope you enjoy this and you learn it completely if anything you have doubt in your mind you can write in the comment box please subscribe to my channel to view more important videos for you okay thank you so much